All right, getting into our uh, Bing Webmaster Tools Setup and Optimization, part of our technical setup series. Uh, this, again, is really easy to do because we have already set up our Google Search Console prior to this step. Um, and you'll see what I mean here in a second. So let me pull up Bing Webmaster Tools. So if you go to bing.com slash webmaster, uh, you can log in using your Gmail account, and that's how I connected. Uh, I use the same Gmail account that is connected to our Google My Business, our Google uh, Analytics, right? So all of the Google properties, uh, and Bing is kind enough to let us log in using that, and it just makes everything a lot easier. So I've logged in using that, and you'll see we have this nice little option here to import if we're already verified on Google Search Console, which we are, all right? So once you've done the Google Search Console step, then you'll be able to use this import feature. So I'm going to click on import, and you know this is just explaining what's happening here. We're importing, they're gonna import the list of verified sites, right? Um, so let's continue to our account here on Google, and we're just going to allow this and we're going to select the uh, sites that we want in Search Console. So for this client site, we have colorbrightpainting.com and I'm going to import that. And I'll click done. Now I noticed on the import that it did not list the sitemap, even though it was it is on uh, Google Search Console. That happens from time to time. Again, you'll notice that this is a beta feature, so sometimes there may be a few little hiccups from day to day, uh, but that's not a problem. So what we can do is just click on the listing now. And uh, what we wanna do is look underneath this section here related to sitemaps, we have zero. So we're going to submit a sitemap. And if you recall from uh, Color Bright Painting, we had the sitemap.xml and let's just confirm that URL. Color, bright, painting. Oops, got caps on, it's okay. And then it was sitemap, and we can see it, remembered it from last time, .xml. So I just want to confirm the URL. Yep, perfect. So I'm just going to select it, copy it, come back over here, and then just paste that in. All right, and then I'm going to click submit. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is, uh, so we've submitted the sitemap. We want to look over here under configure my site. So we're going to click on that and go down here to geotargeting. And let's go ahead and enter the country that we're focused on, which is the United States for this client. And then just remember to select domain and it will have the domain there ready to go and United States and then click submit. The next thing we want to do is look at connected pages. And this is where we will enter the URLs for some of these properties that we have already for this client or that we've created. Okay, so you want to refer to your info sheet and then populate these with the correct name. So I'm just going to get these profile URLs and input them now. So what I'd like to do here is match exactly what we've already placed inside of our schema nap file. So if you recall, we've been completing this uh, profile or this schema file. Let me just pull this over. So inside of this one, we just have two URLs. We have their Facebook and their Instagram. You may have more, you may have less. Um, depending on the scope of what you've promised your client and what you're providing for them with these branding profiles or not. Um, I don't like to deviate from this file when it comes to Bing Webmaster Tools, so I only put what I've put here. I always make sure these match. Um, so in this case, we have Facebook, so I'm going to grab this part right here, copy it, go back over. Uh, to Bing Webmaster Tools. Okay, so for Facebook, we have that. And then let's go over 
to Instagram listing here and we'll grab this URL or this uh, end of the URL, the username essentially. And let me paste that here for Instagram. And then let's, let's go ahead and verify that. All right, so when we go down here, we can see that they have been successfully added and uh, they are pending right now. Okay, so that covers everything for what we want to do in Bing Webmaster Tools. So the big things are uh, making sure that we have the connected pages, which match what we have in the map, or excuse me, the NAP name address, phone number schema file. And then we also want to make sure that we have the, uh, excuse me, the sitemap submitted properly here. And I can see that it's already crawling all the URLs. And obviously we want to see that it was successful, which it is. All right, so that's it for setting up Bing Webmaster Tools. I'll see you in the next video.